This time on 15 Minutes, you'll never get back. What cuffing season means to me. Parlez-tu un autre l'anglais? I gotta stop screaming! <laughs> I'm Dale. <laughs> and I am Charlie. All that and so much more this time on 15 Minutes, you'll never get back. <laughs> Do you remember a couple years ago when the city of Barrie came up with that slogan that everybody hated? Well played. Well played. Well played. I don't know. I it liked it. It doesn't sound like an inspirational one. It almost sounds like it's sarcastic. You know, that's when somebody comes up and, and know. you know, and you kind of go, well played. Right? Well, well played. played. Okay. You know. So Regina is kind of dealing with the same situation. Oh, dear. But way worse. Oh, no. <laughs> so the, In what sense? The tourism board in <laughs> Regina is now apologizing for slogans they came up with as part of a rebranding campaign. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. The two slogans they have since removed okay. and are now apologizing for. Okay. <laughs> this is so awesome. I would move there. Show us. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, Come on. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Come on. I'm crying. I'm actually okay. crying, okay. China. Okay. Slogan number one. Yeah. Show us your Regina. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Oh, wait, there's another one. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, boo. Uh, Okay, so uh, number one, show us your Regina. <laughs> and the second slogan. Mm-hmm. Oh God. <laughs> oh man. Is <laughs> the city that rhymes with fun. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly they received a lot of online criticism. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. So the city has uh, come up with a new slogan. Yeah. Mm, that is uh, not as fun. Oh. Uh, so now it is experience mm. Regina. Mm. Okay. Well, you which see, is that's, a, a more safe. That's, that's much safer. Much I don't more know, palatable. man. But I, no, it's okay. The people that came up with the original slogans and stuff like that, they're not out of work. Apparently they're up doing advertisements for late coochiching. <laughs> Oh, my God. 43% of women in a recent survey say they find it very attractive when a potential love interest knows how to do this. What's your guess? Is it speak another language? Speak another language? Ooh. Tu parles français? Oh, I can't even come back with anything. It's too early. Oh, well, there you go. I think I just took the knees right out from under you with that. Capiche? <laughs> Holy cow, if I say, ouais, la salle de bain, man, she's just going to lose it. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> Un autre course light, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> That, that I speak. That I speak. <laughs> she speaks beer. Yeah. <laughs> Big news. Lululemon just scored the deal to replace the Bay as Canada's oh. Olympic clothing line. I heard that. No more Canadian tuxedos or Canadian apparel stereotypes, if you will. The athletes, the Paralympic athletes, will be sporting Lulus for uh, 2022 in Beijing, the Winter Games, as well as 2028, the Summer Games in L.A. Now, I think maybe it was time for a change for what it's worth. I listen. I love the Bay. It is as Canadian as you get. I told you. I was kind of disappointed because my, my niece was the one that <laughs> designed for you the know, Bay. <laughs> and that's the thing. I mean, the Bay has done a fantastic job, but they've been doing it since 2006. True. It's now, been a long time. For me, though, I feel, and yes, Lulu is Canadian. It, but it is kind of ish right. because There's they some, do keep their, you know, yeah. their financial dealings. And they're south not traded the in Toronto. They're traded in New York. New York but, yeah. but here's my thing I'm like, mm-hmm. if you, if you want to like really make a statement, like, you really want to like make an, a... Okay. Oh, no, Canada, Canucks. Yeah. You unite. bring back our clothiers of the past. Oh. And here comes Team Canada in their iconic Canadian apparel. I don't know about you, Biff, but it does my heart good to see some of these old brands coming back to the podium. 
That is true, Sheila. And right out of the gate, we see that first foot forward. Ha <laughs> ha, we sure do. With Team Canada sporting their new footwear from Bata. Gosh, it's going to be tough to run the 100 meters in hush puppies. Oh, my. Look what the men's team is wearing. It's Randy River. I got to be honest. I never thought I'd see Canadian Olympic Hawaiian shirts. Oh, this takes me back. Making the scene, it's Le Chateau. Oh, yes. For all fashion-conscious teens and young moms in denial. And finally, making an appearance. Uh, hold on. I'm getting a little emotional oh, at this oh, moment. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's, it's Cotton Jenny. Soccer Moms United. Oh, there was a poor gentleman who was walking around yesterday where I was out somewhere, and this poor gentleman was trying desperately to keep the comb over in place. But no matter how hard he tried, it just ended up looking like a windsock at an airport. Yeah. It was windy yesterday. Yeah, and, and he could not do anything about it. It's like, buddy, when you got to pull your ear down to catch the part <laughs> to pull the hair all the way over, you know it's not going to work on a day oh, like yesterday. Work. I felt bad. Yeah, that's what he needs. He needs a little clip. <laughs> little barrette? <laughs> yeah. now for Charlie's mom thoughts. I've come to realize that my kids won't respond to me calling them until I reach the point of screaming like a psycho. The irony is that I'm screaming at them for screaming at each other. This has been Charlie's mom thoughts brought to you by coffee fueled by kids and tolerated with wine. So the question you got to figure out this morning is this. Um, one of these gets broken every 14 seconds. What do you think it is for the Cool FM Brain Buster? For your Brain Buster, would it happen to be eyeglasses? Eyeglasses. Like spectacles? Like spectacles, the ones on your face. That's what my mother calls them. Spectacles? Have you seen my spectacles? I'm like, dear God, Mom, they're glasses. <laughs> they're getting a little bit older. <laughs> and your dad just goes, they're where they always have been. <laughs> I said spectacles. <laughs> <laughs> I finally had to break down and go and change my uh, cell phone plan. So I ended up getting something that's like all minutes this, talk and text and blah, blah. And... And caller ID. Caller ID? Something new for me. Oh, come on. Seriously. So I, that means I you I can actually not... see if I'm calling you. Yeah. Well, I won't check, though. If it's ringing, I answer it. Don't worry about it. Okay, good to um, know. Well, maybe. And <laughs> voicemail. So I'm telling this to Charlie. <laughs> and what's your response, basically? Nobody uses voicemail anymore. <laughs> what, are you stuck in the 90s? <laughs> Nobody Cause, uses voicemail. Because I'm sitting there going, oh, I don't want to have to come up with a voicemail message now. You don't worry about monitoring that and stuff like that. And so this is all news to me that nobody uses it anymore. No, because what happens if they can't get a hold of you, they will immediately hang up, not leave a message, and text you. And they'll be like, hey, tried to call you. Are you around? Why aren't you picking up your phone? Is that what, is that what the what kids happens. do nowadays? That's exactly what happens. <laughs> hey, tried to call you. I did that to my husband like three times. I'm like, dude, pick up your phone. So I'm thinking if i got to come up with voicemail for my new cell phone package, it's got to be something different. And I thought, what if you had the ability to put on, like, messages that you actually want to hear or ones that you may actually hear? Some may be more appropriate than others. Sorry, I can't take your call right now. I can't get to the phone. I'm having too much fun with my friends, and I'm afraid you'd kill the party. <laughs> Sorry, I missed your call. Well, I didn't really miss it. I thought it was work, and I didn't want to have to do anything. <laughs> Sorry, I can't take your call right now. Well, I could, but the breathalyzer app won't let me unlock my phone. <laughs> what? Is it, is it off? <laughs> hey, sorry I can't take your call, but I see it's a 905 number, and I'm pretty sure at the bar last night you said you were from Keswick. <laughs> Dan's on the way at 7 o'clock, Cool FM Newsroom. What's going on this morning, Mr. Blakely? So why does your nose run so much when you're shoveling snow? That story and more at the top of the hour. Cocaine. 
<laughs> does your nose hang low? Does it wobble to and fro? It's not the right song. No. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Speaking of. Entertainment news. Dirtish and Divas is coming up. Well, Taylor Swift has been in this industry for about a decade, and uh, apparently she can predict the future. So we'll give you more details on that. And the rock and roll... Ro- <laughs> Hang on. The rock that, and roll... That, that Hall of Fame's totally different. <laughs> totally different Hall of Fame. Hello. Welcome to Charlie's Kid Calls. It's your chance to know that when it comes to parenting, you're all in this together. Hold on. I have a a fashion emergency, it seems. Uh Uh-oh. Hello, Mom. Hi. What's your problem? I can't find any pants. I bought you, like, eight pairs of pants. You bought me... Nine pairs of jeans and two pairs of pants that I actually like to wear. Again, you're in grade eight. Wear jeans. I'm not wearing jeans. There's nothing wrong with jeans. They look good. They hurt. They hurt to wear, Mom. They hurt. Okay? I don't want to be uncomfortable for seven hours a day. Luke, the, the bottom shelf there, there's tons of pants there. The orange ones, I bought you those, like, neat, funky orange ones. Yeah, those are in the laundry. They shouldn't be because they're clean. You haven't worn them this week. And I'll wear them. Yeah, this is what happens when you throw things on the floor and then decide they should go in the laundry before they're dirty. I need more pants. Okay, well, are you going to come to the store and let me buy you new pants? I'll just order them online. No, you have to come and I need your butt. I need to fit you for clothes. Okay, can you not be, like, ruined by pants for a Friday? Every single morning, I spend 25 minutes looking for pants. You have such problems, dude. Tune in again next time for another episode of Charlie's Kid Calls. And just when you think that your kids are challenging, that's when Charlie says, Hold my beer. You ready? Yes. No. (laughs) Not at this time of the day. Barry's Best Mix 107.5, Cool FM. It's Dale and Charlie. We're bringing Pillow back. <laughs> Please, in my Gotta blanket. go to sleep. Yeah. Where, where's my blankie? I'm so tired. <laughs> well, here's something I never thought would happen, but Mario Lopez will play KFC's Colonel Sanders. Now, at first I thought, like, is this a joke? Like, what? what is this? But in an effort to boost sales for the chain's fried chicken, Saved by the Bell star, Slater will play the restaurant's famous mascot in a steamy Lifetime Channel a holiday. steamy? Holiday romance. Extra oh, yeah. crispy. According to a press release uh, on Monday, a recipe for seduction. In a related story, Ed Sheeran will be playing Ronald McDonald in a new movie. <laughs> but you can say, baby... Guess what time it is. Uh, it's almost time to go home and have lunch. It is cuffing season. Oh, cuffing season. So, as a refresher, <laughs> after a summer of single fun, it's time to find a more serious situation, you know, because the holidays are coming. So, cuffing season is when people start to get into a more serious relationship, essentially just trying to... Um, have somebody to hang out with through the holiday season, but not necessarily having that person as a long-term thing. A sweet... A gap filler, if you will. Right? That is basically what cuffing is. <laughs> so after two years, really, the shift is on where people didn't have the opportunity really to cuff because of the pandemic and rules and restrictions. Right. So I think there's going to be a lot of cuffing. Well, you know, I don't know if people realize that cuffing... The term is actually an acronym. It's an acronym. It is. That's right. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, maybe if you didn't know, but it stands for... C. For the cuddling that we'll do. 
U is for the undies on the floor. F is for the frisky way I'm feeling. F again is for the time that we'll spend having fun. <laughs> I is for the incredible couple of weeks we'll be together. N is for the new love you'll eventually find. And G is for the gonorrhea that you gave me. <laughs> Hey, thanks for spending 15 minutes with us. You know, sometimes that's all it takes. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. Tell us what you think by leaving a review. Lie, if you have to. And feel free to share it so your friends can have a laugh, too. Until next time.